Hello guys, so analysts predict that by 2022, the gaming industry will generate 196 billion. But here in Africa, game development is yet to take off and solidify itself as an industry. But there continue to be some sparkle of ingenuity in various parts of the continent. Focusing on Ghana, I found three homemade games on the Play Store. So in today's video, I play them and share with you my first impressions. So I begin with the recently released RWC Racing Volume 2, an African team car racing game by a Ghanaian developer who goes by the name Dynasty. Released somewhere in June this year, it currently has over 10k downloads and a 4.2 rating. Promotional images for the game look great and I'm hoping what I see is what I will get. So the only way to find out is to play it. Now let's get to the game. Okay, so here, starting with the visuals, first of all, I like what I see. Since blue is a favorite color for racing game developers. You know, I say this because majority of car racing games I've played so far have a blue theme. No lie. The interface and menu has familiar elements. If you are someone who plays a lot of racing games, you probably would have noticed. Here we see an addition of local transportation, the taxi, the chocho, can do, or the aboboya. Obviously, the majority on our roads. So let's go with the taxi since the others are locked and get this money first of the environment looks nothing close to the promotional images i saw kind of like the background music as it fits perfectly so yeah the past is not the present indeed it says the inscription on my taxi the car is moving quite slow trying to find where my boost is and so i'm trying to double tap but then no boost so okay so i'm seeing high tension poles a dam and a bridge looks like the developer was going for an akosombo adome bridge look but this looks far from that i feel the graphics is still a work in progress i see my position on the map at the top left corner of the screen but nothing like how close i'm to the finish line so it's a shaky first play attempt though learning the gameplay so i finish at third position so let me try another one again moving forward i i hope i'll be able to do better okay so yeah found boost is on screen so on tapping on boost there is a little blurry effect which shows your car is moving a bit faster than it was before so if you'll be able to complete all these chapters you have to raise more earn more money and coins to upgrade your vehicle or use the in-app purchase so far i've seen two in-game advertisements and if you have your data on you'll be seeing more of that i think so having to wait for five to six seconds but all in all it's quite fun to play but it needs more update from the developer to improve it and improve and keep improving it and i see people really buying into this Compared to other mobile racing games, RWC Racing needs to offer a lot more to be able to catch up with a lot of racing game audience. So it's a great game all in all and um, you can also check it out. So the next game we check out is ORI 3D, a man class style game featuring HD graphics and awesome gameplay. So in 2013, ORI 3D won the MTN Apps Challenge and it has gotten better and better since then. Developed by Koblanyome, it currently has over 500k downloads on the Play Store. This is actually my favorite board game, so I'm happy someone made the digital rendition of the game. Fresh of the logo splash, you notice this has been developed to look Ghanaian with a Kente look. And the game got everything right from the start. It looks and feels authentic and it has been rendered to feel like you are actually playing the game in real life. Sound design is a 10 over 10. So basically this is a great game and kudos to the developer. I really enjoy playing it and it's just like playing it in real life. The angles, the hand moving, this is great. Now it's time for me to show and answer what I'm made of. Let me finish him off and show him I'm not a novice.
Finally, the last game I look at is Kakun Forest Run. So, developed by Play 233 and inspired by the canopy walk through the Kakun Forest in Ghana and the many other running games. The game is a good one. Yeah, the graphics, not bad. The sound design is good. The character sound is quite funny with the AJ, Mewu, and all that. And it's hard to see the obstacle because you are mixed up with a car and you before you realize you are dead so it makes the game quite difficult but yeah it's a good attempt and i just hope they improve it more people give reviews and they improve it more so yeah i really wish developers in africa would get the push and funding they need to put out more quality games and applications that are aimed at solving some of the continent challenges because there are a lot of creatives in this part of the world Please do all to like the video, share and subscribe to the channel. Peace.